What's up, YouTube? So, I keep getting a noise, a rattling noise from this um, Sonata. And whenever I hit bumps, you could hear rattling noise. So, I'm just going to show you guys how to check to see if it's your tie rod or your ball joint that's bad. Or also wheel bearing. But in this video, it's mainly tie rod and ball joint. But before you do that, you want to make sure you jack the vehicle up, lift the wheels up, the front wheels. So you see here I got my wheels off the ground. And you want to make sure your suspension is not loaded. You want to make sure you don't have any, any kind of um, weight on the tires. Once you don't have any weight on the tires, you'll get an accurate test. But if you put the vehicle on the ground and you try to do this test, it would never work usually when you check to see if you have a bad ball joint you want to hold your wheel at the 12 o'clock position and at the 6 o'clock position and you just want to rock the wheel back and forth if you don't feel any movement your ball joint is usually okay if you feel movement then you inspect your ball joint now to check the tie rod you do nine o'clock and three o'clock position and you go you rock the wheel in and out if you feel movement then usually that indicates that your tie rod is bad now I say usually because different cars is kind of a different feel but in this case I'm gonna put the camera in the back so you can see I'm not getting any movement this way well, not much anyway. It's very hard to tell. It's, it's mainly the tire that's flexing. You shouldn't feel any flexing at all. Only the tire should flex. But when I go the 3 and 9 o'clock position, I got a lot of play. With minimum effort, even one hand, I got a lot of play. So, I'm going to go in the back and I'm going to do the same thing so I could show in my case it's actually the ball joint but if you just do a check like this and not verify it in the back you're gonna think it's the tie rod so now I'm in the back and here you could see my um, lower ball joint and back here is my tie rod so you could see the joint right here so the tie rod joint the ball joint uh, joint now I'm gonna go back and do the same test and if you look you'll see the section that's moving a lot I'm gonna hold the top and the bottom of the tire the 12 and 6 o'clock position and I'm gonna rock that back and forth and you'll see if there's any movement see it feels it seems solid so that would actually tell you from a quick test that the ball joint is good but now if I go to my three and nine o'clock position you're gonna see what moves and you see the tie rod is it's moving but not a lot you really have to pay close attention to see that it's moving but the ball joint is just moving around that ball is just moving around in the socket so in this case I'm actually gonna go with both the tie rod and the ball joint because I do see a little movement in the um, tie rod also so I'm just I'm gonna go with both and this car is having the same issue on the other side this is the passenger side this passenger side is actually in um, worse shape than the driver side same setup on this side lower ball joint tie rod and I'll do the same same test 12 and 6 position nothing 9 and 3 see that movement and sometimes you could get a pry bar in there go between the ball joint 
and the lower control arm and you could see as I pry it downwards I'm getting play shouldn't get that play same thing on the passenger side this is the side that's worse you can see that play and that's how you check if you have a bad ball joint tie rod end this is the that's the outer tie rod end there's an inner one and it's to that side but um sometimes it's obvious you could see the outer one move if you don't see it move you could look at the inner um, where it goes into that boot for the rack and pinion and you'll see it moving there i didn't see it on this one so that's how you check those two thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe